So all right. So I may now look at a diffeomorphism between two manifolds. Right? A diffeomorphism from f m to n is a bijective C infinity map whose inverse is also C infinity. What can you say about dimensions of f and a, I mean m and n? Yeah, any guesses? So diffeomorphism is defined like that if from M to N is a bijective C infinity map whose inverse is also C infinity. All right, now the question is, what can you say about uh, the, the dimension of M and the dimension of the manifold n. Yeah, any guesses? No guesses? All right. Are they equal? Oh, they are equal. Yeah, this is a good case. Do you have a reason? Sir, uh, if we, if the dimension of uh, M is N, yes. then we, uh, like, um, if we are taking an atlas and we are taking a local uh, neighborhood, then we'll have a uh, map to Rn, right? Homeomorphism to Rn. Right. And using F, uh, we can uh, similarly find a homeomorphism to Rn from the corresponding thing in N. Right, 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 right. So this is, uh, that is the thing, right? Yeah. Right. So, so if, so this is a remark, we'll, we'll, if there exists a, uh, diffeomorphism, let's say capital F from M to N, then uh, diffeomorphism M to N, where M and where M and N are smooth manifolds. Then, uh, then the dimension dimension of M is equal to dimension of N. All right. Okay. Well, the argument is as Rahul told. Well, I'll explain it a little more. But before that, let me state. Uh, a, a, a theorem or a proposition which actually says the chart maps actually gives so each of the chart maps gives a diffeomorphism from this open set to some open subset of R. So here it is. So proposition. Let M be a smooth manifold of dimension n and then and 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 u comma phi be a chart in m so as i mentioned in the very beginning chart in m means chart in the maximal atlas we are considering to say smooth manifold that comes with the topological manifold m uh, chart in the maximal atlas all right so this be a chart in m then the map phi from u to phi u 
is a diffeomorphism. Uh, the the reason is very simple. So once M is a manifold, each chart map you will look in a, a neighborhood you are looking at, which is look which is which is homeomorphic to to some R M, then this just you consider this open set and forget about the other part of the manifold. This is definitely a manifold. Dimension N, right? Same as dimension of the manifold. All right, so this is what we, we are saying. This U is itself a manifold with chart with the, with the, with the atlas U comma phi, single charted atlas. All right. All right, now let's look at right. So, proof firstly, this you. This set u comma phi with single chart u comma phi is an atlas in u, right? And this uh, phi u comma identity, this is an atlas in phi u so remember phi u was an open subset of rn so recall that phi u is an open subset of rn all right So you have an atlas uh, containing u, u comma phi. Uh, so you, I mean, you look at the maximal atlas containing that atlas, this atlas, and the maximal atlas containing this atlas. I mean, then we want to we we want to show this map. So to show the map p from u to phi u is See infinity, right? So now the point is one side you have this side you have P, right? Well, P is already there, but still this is the same, this is chart map, right? This chart map P, like it goes to Rn, of course it goes to phi u. And this is chart map identity. It goes to Rn again. Now you try to you, you compose this. All right. So what will be this composition? Identity compose phi compose phi inverse, right? So which is just nothing but the identity, which is which is a smooth map, which is C infinity, right? Hence the previous theorem, which we prove, which we left as an exercise. So this pi is a C infinity map. Right? Is the proof clear? Any question here?
Okay, so let's look at uh, next one about dimension. So again, a proposition. So suppose in this case, you let u be an open subset of a smooth manifold M and F from U to F U, which lies in, let's say, where it should, it should lie in, yeah, if you lies in Rn. A smooth manifold of, of dimension n and if this is is a diffeomorphism then then u comma f is a chart in the maximal atlas. In M. Right? So which is which is the differentiable structure. Is this clear? So once you have a diffeomorphism from some open subset of, of, of a manifold to Rn, then you can consider that map also a chart map and the open subset is, 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 is the open, open set. And it, it must, it will lie in the differentiable structure. So you see, there will be a lot of uh, charts in the differentiable structure. That's why I, I was keeping, Keep on repeating that uncountable many. That's proof. So how do you how do you prove such thing? So given f from u to f u, which lies in R n the diffio all right now what do you mean by this is a this is a chart in maximal atlas so what what do you mean by this is this is chart in the maximal atlas yeah anybody so it's compatible with the atlas all right it's compatible with the with the atlas or it is compatible with the other members, yeah, others member, yeah, compatible with the members of maximal atlas or member of some atlas containing, con which contain, which is contained in the maximal atlas. All right, so, so that's what we need to show. So you consider, so let, Sir. Yes. Sir, it shouldn't be some atlas, right? It should be an atlas whose maximum uh, whose extension is the maximal atlas. Oh no, there might be there might be several atlases whose extension is the same maximal atlas. Yes, sir. So it has to be one of those. It can't be a really small atlas such that its maximal atlas is not the differentiable structure. No, when I say this one atlas, which means that is lying in the maximal atlas. So there might be several atlases in the maximal atlas. And you you need to pick just one. Yeah, I mean, again, you, you are going in the same that it might not be 
there might be an atlas which might not be compatible with the maximal atlas no sir i'm telling uh, it might be such that if you take the maximal atlas of that atlas yeah. the smaller atlas mm -hmm. it may not be big enough to become the differentiable structure uh so in so so you are looking at atlas in the manifold name right first of all yes sir and you are saying this is compatible with with maximal atlas yes sir that is point 1 uh, it is also compatible with an atlas whose extension is the maximal atlas yeah that's good enough but you, we can't say it is just enough to say it is uh, compatible with any atlas right oh it is compatible with the you, you can prove that it is compatible with the maximal atlas right yes sir so you can prove that this is compatible with the any atlases that contains that that uh, is contained in maximal atlas yes sir yes right so that's it you are not uh, going outside that even as soon as you are not going outside the maximal atlas you are fine taking yes. one one atlas is yes sir so taking one atlas is is fine as soon as you are in the maximal atlas all right so here in this case we look at uh, a chart let u alpha phi alpha be a chart in the maximal atlas right and we want to show this is uh, uh, this is compatible with uh, well, what do, how, what do you mean by compatible here? So F is compatible with this these charts. All right. So what do you mean by compatible here? So you have uh, first of all this U intersection U alpha. You need to look right. Yeah. Is this fine? You have map. From here to this is phi alpha, right? And here you have a map which is F. All right. This is also going to Rn, some open subset of Rn. Here also it's going to some open subset of Rn. Now you want to see this. So what is this map? This is F compose phi inverse. Right, and what is this map? This is uh, this phi alpha. So this is phi alpha composed with f inverse, and in this case it is phi alpha. So we need to show this. Both of them are so to show. F compose phi alpha inverse and phi alpha compose F inverse are C infinity. Yeah, is this fine? If you show these two maps are C infinity, then then it is uh, then this u comma F becomes a chart in the maximal atlas. Yeah. Okay, so so how do you show such thing? How do you show this is smooth? Hmm? So F and uh, F and words are smooth. Okay, yeah, composition. Directly. Yes. Yeah, but these are, these are smooth because their composition of two smooth maps. 
right? F inverse, F is smooth, F is a diffeomorphism, which means F is smooth. So is F inverse. And P is a chart. So we have just shown here that if you have a chart, it is C infinity. So this, and it's inverse as well, C infinity. It's a diffeomorphism actually we have shown. So phi F compose phi alpha inverse and phi alpha compose F inverse of C infinity. Since U alpha phi alpha, U alpha comma phi alpha is a chart chosen arbitrarily, uh, we, we are done. Yes, we are done showing that u comma f is is a chart. So, so let me write that part. Since u u alpha p alpha is chosen or was chosen arbitrarily uh, that gives you u comma f is compatible with every charts in the maximal atlas hence u comma f is also a chart in the maximal atlas all right any question here so this actually gives you uh, so remark the proof of previous remark is now clear Clear, right? Okay, so now let's talk about the differentiable structure. A distinct about about distinct differentiable structure or or differentiable structures uh, to a diffeomorphism. So what should I say? Uh, yeah, so the following I, I put as a remark also. I'll give a proof of this also. One. So. There are. Two. There, there might be might be different differentiable structure structure different in the sense non compatible. I should make mean I should I should make it precise. So non compatible structure, but same up to a diffeomorphism. So 
So what do uh, I mean by this? So I mean the following example. So let's go back to the example, which was our identity, right? So this was one at less on R. So call this F and F tilde. This was R comma phi, where phi x equal to x cube. Now you can uh, so now m is the maximal atlas containing f and m tilde the maximal atlas containing F tilde. Are this same? Are this this m equal to m tilde? Is it true? M equal to m tilde? Identity and x cube are not compatible, right. so they are not equal. So they are not equal. Yeah, you are right. So identity and 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 this phi phi x equal to x cube are not compatible. So they are not equal. So m tilde m is not equal to m tilde. Now my claim is that this is they are same up to diffeomorphism. So claim M is equal to M tilde up to diffeomorphism. What do you mean? That is, there exists a diffeomorphism. Phi, the phi, phi is already taken, so let's say call, call it psi from R M to R M tilde. Now, what is such a candidate? To prove a claim. So, what is psi? Any guess? Okay, so let's look at x to the power half. Uh, sorry, x, x to the power one third. Is it a smooth map? So if I take both sides identity, it's not a smooth map, right? Yeah. Now I have chosen a different one, chosen a different one here. Here, if I put m also, then this is not, this is not a smooth map. But now here, we, 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 this is not coming from identity. This is coming from some other map. So let's see. So what is the definition? What do, you, what do you want to see? So we have already atlases. So it's enough to check for atlases. So we have this map here. It's identity. Yeah, maybe I should write it. Uh, yeah, it's in a different color. So R, M, and here it is. R, M tilde. This is psi. Here it is identity. Goes to R. Here it is. Phi. X goes to. So here, uh, well, don't put M and M tilde, we just put 
uh, identity and here it is it is well this is f and this is f tilde just with with their classes and phi x equal to x cube and this is goes to r now we could we want to combine this so what is this map i compose identity inverse which is identity and phi all right so what is this map phi compose psi compose identity and this goes from r into r, r sorry here, here it is r to r so it's x equal to phi compose psi of x which is phi of x to the power one third which is x now all right yeah so this implies what this implies this this composition this composition is infinity So this implies the composition. What is the next one? Uh, this map phi compose psi compose identity. So this phi compose psi compose identity inverse is C infinity. This implies psi is a C infinity map. All right. Similarly. can prove psi inverse Okay, so this we can prove psi inverse is also C infinity. Is the proof clear to everybody? Any question? So what do you what 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 is what do we get we got that there exist there exist two different non compatible differentiable structure but there there there, there might be there might be same up to diffeomorphism so there might exist a diffeomorphism which takes i mean i'm taking this to two sides that is a smooth map is a diffeomorphism now here is the result fact which we will not prove but if anybody is interested welcome to uh, welcome to do this work and present it okay so here is the fact for n less than equal to 3 any smooth Sorry, any topological manifold of dimension N has a unique differentiable structure. up to diffeomorphism so 
I'm not going to go to give a proof here, uh, but I mean, you are welcome. Anybody interested, welcome to find a proof and present. Okay, so what happens other dimension? So what did I call fact? Yeah, so fact one. Two. Four. In greater than four, there exist finitely many many distinct differentiable structure structure. In a topological manifold, of dimension n. So here, most notable is so first Milner found uh, distinct. Differentiable structures on a seven. So that faced him uh, the Nobel Prize. Sorry, not Nobel Prize, Fields Medal. So here, uh, so this, those are called exotic spheres. So Uh, so here maybe I'm I'm not uh, not very very I guess I guess I'm I'm not any topological manifold. So what I'm looking at is here in SN. So I'm not sure uh, for every uh, topological manifold of dimension n, that is, that might not be true. But of course, this one is true. Up to three, this is this is true. So this this is this is definitely true. And for Yeah, for, for this one, n greater than 4, we look at just sphere. And first, Miller found this uh, around 56, 1956 or sometime. Uh, exotic, sp exotic spheres, so which are different, uh, differentiable structure, which are not uh, same up to diffeomorphism. So, so actually, there exist 28 such distinct differentiable structure in S7. So later on, Milner with a collaborator have uh, proved this. All right, so what happens uh, in S4, right, in S4? Open question. So whether there exists finitely many differentiable structure, a distinct differentiable structure, or infinitely many. So this is this is an open question still now. So this is this is called sometimes called so the statement that. S4 has a unique differentiable structure 
up to if you is referred as smooth point correct conjecture. All right, so this is uh, kind of the picture, but yeah, different. Uh, so even in, in, in dimension four, different topological manifold might have a distinct different cell structure. That is, uh, that is I think, known, uh, but the problem is open for S, S4. Any question here? Any question? Okay then, so we'll take a break for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and uh, start a different topic, which is uh, local coordinates. Okay, so 10 minutes break. Uh, sir? Yes. So are you sharing the slides you're writing? Oh, did, did I not forget to share? Okay, I'll share it. Yes, sir. Yeah, share all this. Like you sent the first one. I don't know how to access the next. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll maybe let me try to create a folder and share it to you. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have 10 minutes break now. And then we'll come back at actually 12 minutes break. So we'll be back, we'll be back at 6 or 6 or 5. And then we'll continue. Okay.